powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the new news from Montana's news leader. Good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Victoria Hill in for Samantha Sullivan. As we head into one of the busiest travel weekends of the year, two fatal crashes are reported this morning claiming three lives. In Jefferson County, a woman was killed in a single vehicle crash around 7 o'clock this morning on Highway 2, about seven miles west of Whitehall. Details on exactly how the crash happened have not been released, and the crash is under investigation. And in Roosevelt, Belt County. Two people died this morning when their pickup truck got stuck on train tracks and got struck by a train. The crash was reported just after 5 o'clock this morning near Highway 13 east of Wolf Point. Spokesman for Burlington Northern Santa Fe Ross Lane confirms the crash involved the BNSF grain train. He said the incident did not occur at a crossing. The portion of tracks the pickup got stuck on is located off a rural dirt road. The trooper on scene tells MTN the train activated its brakes but was unable to stop in time. Lane said BNSF and local law enforcement are investigating the incident and are working to determine how the vehicle came to rest on the tracks. The BNSF crew was relieved after the incident and the train started moving again about five hours later. Well, today is expected to be the second busiest travel day this holiday week, only behind the Sunday after Thanksgiving, when everyone just wants to go home. CBS's Laura Podesta is in New York with details on just how many people are on the move. Terrible, 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 terrible. <laughs> Traffic is as expected across the country. New York, Maryland, and Los Angeles all seeing the usual holiday rush. Right now, travel times only. I can't believe I'm saying only, only double what they should be on the 405. I think Tuesday and Wednesday are both just insane travel days during Thanksgiving. Snow in Boston didn't help. We've been on the road for what, about 75 minutes, hour and a half or so. Um, we're about 15 miles. Out of Boston. It's only going to get worse. 48.5 million Americans are expected to hit the road this year. That's up about 5% from last year and comes despite the highest gas prices since 2014. We see that consumer confidence is at an 18-year high. We also see that wages are up. Americans have more disposable income. They're taking that additional money and putting it towards a trip with friends and family this year. It won't be much easier for those in the sky. Airlines are expecting 2.5 million flyers a day. Sunday could set a record of more than 3 million passengers going through TSA checkpoints. I have major anxiety right now. I'm just ready to get on the plane and be there. We are traveling at the most busiest time of the year. Christmas, we're going to be staying home. Favorable weather across the country has so far led to minimal cancellations, though heavy fog in Seattle forced about 400 delays yesterday. Laura Podesta, CBS News. And more snow in Boston is expected later today, and the Northeast will see some of the coldest Thanksgiving weather in decades. Closer to home when it comes to Thanksgiving travel, Montana ranks eighth in a list of the most dangerous states. Our neighbors, North Dakota and Wyoming, crack the top five most dangerous, coming in at number one and number three, respectively. Captain Jim Kitchen with the Montana Highway Patrol says it's simple to arrive safely. Slow down, pay attention to your driving, wear your seatbelts, uh, don't drink and drive, take survival gear in your vehicle. Um, if the roads are bad, you know, if, if you could go a day before or a half a day before, go ahead and get that done because that way you get more relaxed time when you're there and, and don't push the envelope on the time. That's one of the biggest things that we see. Captain Kitchen reminds us MHP uses statistical crash analysis data to predict what areas of the road might need the most attention. He also says use the MDT website to check on road conditions before you take off. And now we say hi to Ed over in the Weather Center. Ed, what's Mother Nature cooking up on this Thanksgiving Eve? You know, we really have some nice travel weather as far as conditions right now, but that could change as we get through the weekend, at least for portions of the region. So keep in mind when you got holiday travel to check some of those basics before you start to take off. Things like your tires, make sure the inflation's right, check the tread. 
just don't be in a hurry. If you do get into ice and snow, clear everything off and make sure you got a scraper and the windshield wipers are working well and make sure you turn into a skid because remember, especially when it comes to these wintry conditions that the majority of the accidents do occur on wet roadways and that could even be true after the storm has started to move out. We'll have more on the areas where we could have some problems in just a few minutes with the forecast. All great reminders. Thank you so much, Ed. Billings Clinic has some major expansions in its future in Billings and in Bozeman. Officials with the clinic made the announcement on Tuesday and say it will strengthen Montana's medical corridor, help attract the best physicians and better serve patients well into the future. It's a it's a really good day for Billings Clinic and an, even a better day for our patients both here as well as across the region. We are bullish on Billings and excited about helping to see our town continue to grow, especially our downtown corridor, having our leadership Billings leadership Clinic officials structure say they will get one. started with construction as soon as possible. Anything else you need me to add? And then we will be getting the plans ready. Uh, Bozeman Some improvements will include adding two stories to the hospital tower above the emergency department, relocating several departments to allow for better patient access, so again, expanding the outpatient surgery center, upgrading the cath lab, and building building a 430 space employee garage. Out of all the projects we're doing, if you're an employee, the parking garage. Uh, but if you're a patient, uh, the biggest advantage is really going to be re re transforming the way we deliver care on that first floor of our clinic. Moving all of those primary care uh, opportunities to the single first floor will, will create wonderful opportunities for us to increase the access for our patients to, to get to that care and will also allow our multidisciplinary care teams to work together in a new environment. Uh, one challenge is going to be, are we going to be able to continue